So there are actually a few things that you can bring with you on a cruise from home that will save you money once you're on a cruise. And these things will save you not only money, but also time and aggravation. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I have to say, even though I am getting ready for a cruise now and I'm getting pretty excited, it is raining outside right now. I'm not having a great hair day, but we're gonna do this video anyway. And I'm really excited to share with you the things that you can bring from home that won't really cost you a lot of money if you get them in advance, but they will definitely save you money on a cruise. Now, some of these are gonna be a little bit more obvious, especially if you've watched these types of videos before, but others I would bet are going to be a complete surprise. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, let's get started. So the first one or two are actually really pretty obvious, but they are important. Bring your sunscreen and also bring your after sun care, like something like aloe vera, bring it from home before you go on a cruise. Not only will it be more expensive if you buy it in the cruise ship gift shop or convenience store, but at the same time, that store will not be open until your cruise ship sails away. And if you are out in the sun on embarkation day, you do not wanna be without your sunscreen. So make sure that you bring it from home. Now, the next thing you wanna bring from home for your cruise is some water shoes. Now, of course, this does depend on you if you're going to be going to any beaches that you think might be a little bit rocky and especially for some cruise excursions. Now, several years ago, we did an excursion where we climbed up Dunn's River Falls, one of the very best excursions that we ever did. I highly recommend it, but having water shoes is an absolute must. Now, we knew this in advance, so we did buy them in advance. However, many people that were on our cruise ship, maybe they booked that excursion once they were already on the ship or other people just didn't think of it or research it before. So they were stuck buying their water shoes while right at Dunn's River Falls. They did have like a kiosk where you could buy them, but of course they were probably like double or triple the price of just buying them on Amazon or at your Walmart. I am going to link them in the description below in case you do want to check them out. Now, another thing to bring from home is a refillable water bottle. Now, you could either bring a refillable water bottle or on some cruise ships, you are allowed to bring your own water bottles on the cruise ship. Sometimes some cruise lines will allow you to order some large water bottles to your cabin as well. So you can always check that out. But I really do think right now, having a refillable water bottle is so convenient when you're on your cruise, especially because when you get off the cruise ship, you are going to want to have water with you. This is important. Now, I like this one, it's a Brita. I just got it because it does have this filter in it so i think that that's pretty nice especially when you're on the cruise ship you may want to sometimes have your water filtered maybe if you fill it up in your bathroom or something like that not that the water is bad to drink but i kind of like that but otherwise you can also get refillable water bottles that are really convenient and they're even foldable so if you want to bring them on excursions and you don't want to take up all that room well those are pretty good too now, something that you probably wouldn't think to bring on a cruise ship, but honestly is so convenient for any types of travel, but it is a selfie stick tripod. Now I have to say, I would never think of this if I didn't do what I do, if I didn't kind of log a little bit and I didn't do these YouTube videos or maybe take photos and that kind of thing. I never thought about it before, but this is actually a new one that I just got uh, because my old one didn't fit my iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this fits the 13 and well, it really is quite large, but you have to find the one that fits for you. Again, I'm going to link um, this one in the description below, but it's really great because not only will it save you money from using using maybe the ship's photographer, especially if you are on excursions, but it's a great way to capture those amazing photos of you maybe at the aft of the ship with the wake in the background or on the beach when you don't have a photographer with you or even on the ship because, you know, maybe get one photo from the photographer, but if you don't want to get a ton of photos from the ship's photographer, it does add up. Um, you could take your own pictures with the selfie stick tripod. And honestly, you could even just put the tripod down. There is this Bluetooth remote so you can take the selfie stick and you can take photos while you just click this to go when you want. Really is very convenient and I highly recommend it. Now, another thing to bring on a cruise, and this is so simple, but sometimes the simple things are really the best, is some downy wrinkle release. Now, for the downy wrinkle release, basically it's going to save you money because you're not gonna have to send your clothing to be pressed, which can cost anywhere from like four to $8 
for an outfit. So you don't wanna do that. You can use your downy wrinkle release. And also something to bring is maybe like a little bit of laundry detergent. Now you can buy a little travel size pack. And this way, if you wanna do a little bit of laundry, maybe you wanna do just a few items in your bathroom sink, or maybe on your cruise ship, you have a little laundrette, a little laundromat, on the passenger deck, some cruise ships do have that, then you can run a small load of laundry and it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. Now make sure to bring your own first aid kit. Now you can make your own DIY first aid kit if you want. You can just bring a couple of little like Ziploc accessory bags and you can put your own items in here. Like something that I do is I bring my pain reliever, of course. Band-Aids, uh, polysporin, maybe antacids. Uh, bring all of that stuff with you because, well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you do need to go to the medical center for something really small, well, it is gonna cost you a lot of money. It's also not gonna be open all the time, so this is gonna be able to make it that you can treat any small injuries that you can treat them yourself. And the other thing is, if you do buy some medication, like the over-the-counter medication in the convenience store on the cruise ship, it is going to be expensive. So bring these things from home. Home. Now, please let me know if you'd like to see a video all about the kind of first aid, medical items, pharmaceutical stuff that you should bring on a cruise. Let me know in the comments below. Now, also something to bring, especially if you're going on like a Caribbean cruise or a hot weather cruise, is a sun hat. Now, true story. I forgot to bring a sun hat on a cruise a few years ago. And what's worse is my husband, my son, they forgot to bring their baseball caps. And honestly, we needed it. We were in the Mediterranean on this cruise in particular, and there really wasn't a lot of shade when we went to visit places and we just needed something to cover our heads. We ended up buying our sun hats right at, I believe we were in Ephesus and we bought them right at a shop in that area and honestly they were a little bit expensive now it was fine we were on a vacation but i would have saved myself time i would have saved myself aggravation if i had brought them with me ahead of time now i just thought of a bonus item so i'm going to add that to the end of this list but keeping on going one thing that you'll probably want to bring if you do like to snorkel is your own snorkel gear. Now this is something my husband and I were just talking about. We're gonna order it on Amazon because sometimes we like to go to the beach and my husband really kind of likes to snorkel a little bit, just even on the beach. And honestly, if we were to rent it, it would probably cost us about 20 or $25 to rent it. And these days, I think the idea of bringing something from home that we can sanitize ourselves, I kind of think that I prefer that. So we're gonna buy our snorkel gear and I certainly think Think bringing like a snorkel mask is not very expensive. You can use it for years on a cruise. So whether you go on catamaran excursions or you just like to snorkel at the beach, this is something really good to have that is going to save you money if you bring it on your cruise. Now, one of my favorite things to bring on a cruise that really does save money is to bring my own bottles of wine on a cruise. Now, many cruise ships will allow you to bring one bottle of wine per adult in the cabin and sometimes they'll allow you to bring more than that but just to pay like a corkage fee of about $15 which is still a better value than usually on the cruise you can probably expect to pay upwards of $40, $50 and more for a bottle of wine on a cruise ship. Now some cruise lines will allow you to bring champagne on a cruise so how nice would that be to actually toast at sail away and have champagne maybe on your own balcony so that is a really nice thing to bring on a cruise. And some cruise ships will allow you to bring soda. So if you're going on a carnival cruise, for instance, and you wanna bring a 12 pack of soda, well, you can do that. You can bring your own cans of your favorite soda on board. Now do check per cruise line because the rules are all just a little bit different to know what you can and you cannot bring. Bonus time. I am so glad that you are still here because this one is going to be so helpful. It is to bring a small duffel bag with you on your cruise, but fold this away. Don't have it already filled up. Fold this away in your luggage before your cruise. And what this is going to be really handy for is that you'll probably find that you've bought some souvenirs. Maybe you've bought some clothing during your cruise, but you're going to go home with more stuff than you came with. So you'll have this small duffel bag to be able to bring home those extra things on your cruise at the end and it's going to save you money because first of all your bag is not going to be too heavy that is going to be really good uh, but at the same time it's going to save you money because otherwise you're going to be in those gift shops on the cruise ship 
and you're going to be buying a duffel bag anyway on that cruise ship to bring that extra stuff home. So save yourself the money and bring it with you before you go. If you are looking for more ways to get organized for your cruise packing list and more, I do have an ultimate cruise planner. This is 47 pages of everything that you could need. Well, from starting to plan your cruise all the way through disembarkation, I'm going to leave the link to the ultimate cruise planner. I'm going to leave it in the description below. It is $10 off right now if you do wanna check that out. Now I'd love to hear from you. Do you bring any of the items that I mentioned in this video? Do you have other items that should go on this list of things to bring on a cruise that are gonna actually save you money? Please leave them in the comments below. Now I'm gonna leave a video right after this one all about the things that you should not pack for a cruise and what to bring instead. Now if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And of course, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.